Hi guys! Oh no, shit, I showed my hair. <laughs> I, was fi- I was fixing my hair anyway. Okay. Um, okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you all know, I'm Richa, a second year engineer at Mansfield College, Oxford, and today I'm here with my friend Huana. Hi guys, my name is Huvana. I'm a second year biochemistry student at Oriel College. Also, just a heads up, we're in uni parks today, so <laughs> I apologize in advance for any unnecessary background noises. So today's video is just going to give you a brief overview of the biochem application procedure. So to start off with, can you give them your background, which A-levels you did? Yeah, so I studied at Nottingham High School in the UK, and my A-levels were biology, chemistry, maths and physics. So very sciencey. Very sciencey. So the first thing, of course, is your UCAS application. And I think a lot of it remains the same for every degree, except your personal statement, which varies quite a bit. So what tips do you have for biochem? Yeah, I think for biochem, your personal statement is especially important because there's no other admissions test. Oh, wow. So there's no entrance exam at all? No. So the first impressions will just be from your grades and from your personal statement. So the things that I included um, were any research experience that I'd had relating to biochem. Um, my main scientific interest, so um, that could be relating to like books I had read or conferences I had attended, um, and also mention any academic achievements or competitions you may have done, so things like Olympiads are quite good to mention. So I think the main piece of advice I'd give for a biochem personal statement is to just be able to discuss anything you write about at depth, so particularly your scientific interest that you mentioned. Um, for example, if you've read a book on epigenetics, um, it may happen that you are interviewed by someone who is a specialist in that field. So it's good to do extra reading around the subject and make sure you're up to date with the latest research um, for the interview. Yeah, that's really solid advice, actually, to be genuine in your personal statement and not lie at all. Because if you try to lie, it's so easy to get caught in yeah. the interview. <laughs> and so about your UCAS application, was it an open application or did you apply to a particular college? How did you make that decision? So I applied to Oriel College directly, and that was mainly because like, I liked the accommodation, <laughs> and it was quite central. Uh, so I think in terms of choosing between colleges, I'd say that the teaching you received is very similar wherever you go, as long as you pick a college that actually offers you know, biochem. Um, that sounds really sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I think in terms of choosing colleges for biochem, the first thing you should do is make sure that the college actually offers the subject. Because yeah, because not, not all, all colleges offer all yeah. subjects. Um, and, but then, in terms of the teaching that you'll receive, I'd say it's quite similar in all colleges that you attend, because many of your tutorials will be at different colleges or with external tutors, so you shouldn't worry too much about that. So I'd say if you're choosing a college, you should pick more based on things like accommodation, um, the location of the college, and um, if you happen to visit, then, like, generally your feel of the environment um, at each place. Yeah. So the academic life remains almost the same throughout every college, but the social life varies quite a bit. Yeah. So that's definitely one thing to keep in mind. So in terms of visiting colleges beforehand, had you visited Oriel before or just Oxford in general? Um, so I had visited Oxford a few times. One was for the open day for biochemistry and also my older brother studies here. So I've been oh, a few times <laughs> to visit him. <laughs> So is that how you decided to apply to Oxford to follow his footsteps or something? <laughs> um, not really. Like I was, I decided to apply to Oxford quite late actually. So um, very close to the UCAS deadline, I'd say. Um, I was mainly deciding between um, the natural sciences course at Cambridge and biochemistry at Oxford, but I eventually chose uh, biochem because I think the course is a lot more structured. And in fourth year here, you have 23 weeks of research, so you get an integrated master's automatically. So I think that was a real plus for this course for me. Yeah, that's the same for engineering. You get a master's at the end of four years, which is really convenient. (laughs) So since you didn't have any entrance test after your UCAS application, is it directly the interviews then? Yeah, so I think the UCAS deadline is about mid-October. And I heard back about interviews um, in the second half of November. And biochemistry interviews are usually quite early, so you'll probably have an interview in the first two weeks of December. So were the interviews similar in both the colleges, or are they very different from each other? What's the format like? So I'd say biochemistry especially, there's quite a lot of variation between different colleges in terms of interview style. So at Oriel, I had a pre-interview um, comprehension exercise for half an hour. 
So they basically gave me an article and I had to read it, um, annotate it and be prepared to discuss it in the interview. So um, the interview there, it started off with my personal statement, just questions about me and my interests. Then it led on into some um, lateral thinking questions and data analysis. So I think one of the questions I had at that interview was something along the lines of how do you measure the volume of blood in a human body? Uh, Non-invasively. Non-invasively. That's the key point, I think. Um, But at St. Edmund Hall, it was completely different. So they didn't have my personal statement at all. And it was a lot of pure science questions. So um, I had to draw like a lot of chemistry mechanisms and there are a few maths-based questions. So So coming out of the interview, how did you feel? So to be honest, I was quite underwhelmed. So I knew it didn't go disastrously, but I didn't think it was amazing either. So I wasn't really sure how I performed um, relative to their expectations or the other candidates. How long did you stay in Oxford for the interview? Um, So I think generally, if you come to Oxford for interview, they'll most likely ask you to stay for at least one night. So I came the night before my interviews, and then I had two interviews on the same day. And what was the social atmosphere you were during that time? Did your college organize things? Um, so I think most colleges do try and organize a few social activities for the interviewees because I guess it's quite an intimidating process. Yeah. Um, so I remember at mine, we had a trip to G&D's, which is a, oh. an ice cream parlor like here. You have to as a G&D's. Yeah, so. it's, it's great. <laughs> So as you mentioned, interviews can be a quite intimidating process. So what helped you prepare for them? So I think for biochemistry especially, because it's so variable between colleges, it's hard to prepare for specific questions. So I guess the main piece of advice I'd give candidates would be to read over your personal statement, um, make sure you can discuss all the scientific themes that you've mentioned there in a lot of detail. And also um, definitely brush up on your pure science skills, so the things that you would have covered in class. Because um, the main objective of the interview is to really test how you think and how you apply your current knowledge to abstract problems. So I think another thing I would say is to maybe practice um, talking out your thought process out loud, because that's really what they expect you to do in the interview. But it's something that doesn't come naturally to a lot of people, I'd say. Yeah. So I guess that's it for today. Thank you so much. And if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you're in the process, good luck. We hope to see you here next year. See ya. Bye.